close your eyes and watch your breath. You know when the breath is coming in, know when it's going out, all the way in, all the way out. And ask yourself what kind of breathing would be comfortable right now. Long, short, deep, shallow, heavy, light, fast, slow. Try to breathe in a way that feels good for the body, all the way through the body. Because the breathing is a whole body process. It's not just the air coming in and out of the lungs, but it's the flow of energy that goes through the body as you breathe in, as you breathe out. And you can feel that in many places. So wherever it's most prominent, wherever you're most sensitive to it, allow your attention to settle there. And as the breath gets more comfortable, be careful not to just drift off into the comfort. Try to be mindful that the breath is what's causing the comfort, so you want to make sure you look after the cause and the effects will take care of themselves. You're building a home for the mind. The home is a place where you have to be comfortable, but it's also a place that you have to protect. Because the mind needs a home, otherwise it's wandering around exposed to the sun and the rain and whatnot. So you need to give it a good place, a place that's always with you. Wherever you go, the breath is there. And wherever you go, you can make the breath comfortable. So you're coming from a sense of well-being inside. And wherever you go, you don't feel like you're a stranger. You don't feel alienated because you've got something that you can connect with inside all the time when you learn how to make the breath comfortable and learn how to stay with it. So it's a simple skill that it requires mindfulness and alertness. In other words, remembering to keep the breath in mind and then being alert to what the mind is actually doing. Is it staying with the breath or is it wandering off? If it's wandering off, just gently bring it back. Gently but firmly. So that it gets used to staying here and has a sense of well-being here. Then you've got yourself a home, a place where you can rest, a place where you can gather your strength. So you are coming from a position of strength. You are coming from a position of well-being as you're making your decisions as you go through the day, as you go through life. Otherwise, when the mind doesn't have a good foundation like this, its decisions don't, aren't well-founded either. Sometimes we decide things based simply on our moods or emotions, without thinking about their long-term consequences. But when there's a sense of well-being now, right here, right now, then it's easier to think about the long-term, because you're not so hungry and lacking right now. You've got a sense of fullness, you've got a sense of well-being right here. And so the actions you decide on will come from a better place. So give the mind a home. It can be a mobile home, you can think of it that way. And it follows you wherever you go. It's not like a trailer that you have to drag behind you. It's like a shadow that follows you. No places no weight on you. It doesn't cause any burdens. But it's always there. So here's your home. It starts out like a house. It may not be all that comfortable to begin with, but as you get more used to it, it does become a home. A place where you can find rest, strength, and a sense of belonging, that you're in the right place at the right time. 